everyone. Welcome to McClendon Studios, Random Thoughts and Observations. This is a meme throwback Thursday. I'm your host, David E. McClendon Sr., and today we're going to talk about Absorbing Jr. Now, Absorbing is a uh, horse liniment. They rub it on horses to help with their aching muscles whenever uh, horses' muscles get tight. And uh, it's been around for many, many years. And uh, the people that uh, made absorbing found that uh, farmers and other people that work with horses were uh, using this uh, absorbing on their own muscles. And they thought, well, maybe it would be better if we made a more diluted um, formula of this so that it wouldn't be as caustic on humans. And so they diluted it down and came up with what was known as absorbing junior. Now, um, through the years, absorbing junior, which was marketed for aching muscles, um, people began to believe that it uh, would kill athletes' foot fungus, and I believe it may have even been marketed for that at one point in time. It no longer is. But people also thought that it was an excellent way of uh, dealing with insect bites, the kind of itch. Anyway, um, one day I was out in the uh, little wading pool in my grandma's backyard, and uh, I got uh, some red bugs. Uh, red bugs are these little bugs that get below the skin and lay their, uh, their larvae under there and then uh, the itch and uh, my father decided that uh, well maybe if we put some absorbing on it, it would either kill the larvae or make them come out and uh, so that's what he decided to do he got some absorbing junior and one of these bites was on uh, my scrotum and uh, he decided to start there well that's where he started and as soon as he touched the um, applicator on it it began to burn and it burned unmercifully it was terrible. And then uh, finally, I got into the uh, wading pool again to cool things down, and uh, it made it worse. Well, my father was very apologetic. He was, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I didn't know it was going to hurt. I'm sorry, I didn't know it was going to burn so bad. And uh, I forgave my father because I felt like, well, he had no way of knowing that this was going to burn until he told me this story. Years before, he had... Uh, been on the uh, football team at uh, Newberry College and um, he was there on a football scholarship actually and one of his uh, teammates had a round of jack itch and uh, he evidently did, have a, uh, did not have a uh, cure for jock itch at the time, any way of treating it and uh, my father said well you know absorbing juniors for uh, athlete's foot, you use it for athlete's foot and that's a fungus just like jock itch is a fungus so it will uh, cure that and so the guy was def desperate, and he asked my father to go ahead and help him. So my father unscrewed the cap, um, took the applicator completely off, and the guy laid back on the bed, and my father poured it on, on the guy. And uh, the thing about absorbing juniors, it goes on cool and smooth, and then very shortly it begins to heat up. And after a little while, it gets very hot. Well, that's what happened to this football player. My father noticed that he was uh, in a great deal of discomfort, and he started headed toward the door. Now, back in those days, the uh, dorms were not did not have central air conditioning, and it was a hot day, and they had the uh, window open at the end of the hall. So my father ran down the hall, jumped through this window onto a uh, lower porch roof, ran to the end of the porch roof, and then got down to the ground. Walked right past the president of the uh, university. This guy comes running out, naked as a jaybird, hollering obscenities at my father. And uh, the next morning, the uh, two of them had to go to the president's office and discuss um, their problems of the day before, about what had happened the day before uh, with the uh, president of the university. Well, see, I realized then, when my father told me this, that he had to have known that there was a problem, that he had to have known that it would burn me. But still he put it on, and uh, I still forgive him, but uh, now I know that he didn't always have my best interest at, my, at heart. Uh, if you like this uh, story, give us a, a shout-out. Either uh, drop a note in the uh, comment box below, or uh, send us a... Uh, Email to give these videos at g-i-n-d-y-s-v-i-d-e-o-s at gmail.com. That's again these videos at gmail.com, g-i-n-d-y-s-v-i-d-e-o-s at gmail.com. Um, like this on the uh, blog, go ahead and follow us on this blog, or if you like, please uh, subscribe to us on YouTube, and we thank you. This is a Federal Trade Commission required notice. When you click on an advertisement that is displayed with this video or just before it, we receive a small commission. 
Sometimes, if you merely watch an ad, we receive commission. If you purchase anything by clicking on links on any of our websites, we receive a commission as well. McClendon Studios is a participant in the Amazon Services LLC Associates Program, an affiliate advertising program designed to provide a means for sites to earn advertising fees by advertising and linking to Amazon. Suzanne has written a great book of poetry. It is called Shattered. You can find it on Amazon.com. We also offer you the book How to Pay Off Your Debt. Buy it on Amazon.com. We have a new book. Many people want to know if homeschooling will work for them. This book may help you answer that question. You can find it on Amazon.com. On the 15th of July, 2016, all of our books will be free in honor of the birth and death of our angel baby, Dorian Lee McClendon.